If you want to get Forge for Minecraft 1.21.4, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Forge. It goes through troubleshooting, frequently asked questions, all of that stuff. We're going to be going over a lot of that in this video, but let's say you run into a more niche issue, like you get into Minecraft and you're getting exit code 1 when you try to launch Minecraft with Forge. Well, we have that outlined here on how to fix it. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the Download Forge button here to go to Forge's official download page. Once you're here on the left hand side, click on 1.21 and then select 1.21.4. Once you see MC 1.21.4 here, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. That'll then take you off to Add Focus, where stop, don't click anything on this page, just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear up here in the top right. You can see there it is, red skip button. Go ahead and click on that, and the download will begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep or save Forge like we do here, and as long as Forge is in the title, which it is, you are good to go ahead and save it. While Forge is downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz says SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want, including adding Forge mods to your server and setting your server up with Forge and any mods that you want. On top of that, should you run into any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and play Minecraft modded or vanilla with your friends the easy way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Nevertheless, with Forge downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to move Forge to the desktop. Now for me, Forge is going to be found in the downloads folder and there it is, Forge installer. We can go ahead and drag and drop this to the desktop. Now we want to open the Forge installer. To do that, right click on it, click on open with, and click Java. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if you click Java and it doesn't work? It doesn't open anything? Well, in that case, we need to get Java 21. Java 21 is required for Minecraft 1.21.4 mods like Forge. So any Forge mods require Java 21 and the Forge installer itself requires Java 21. Of course, there's a link in the description down below on how to get this for Minecraft mods in both video and text format to make sure you can get it up and running. We also have a link to the jar fix. The jar fix is going to take the jar files on your computer like Forge and link them to Java making them work together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix, and you'll be good to go. Now at this point, we can install Forge. So go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and it will open up the Forge installer. Well, all you've got to do is click on install client and click OK. It'll now download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.21.4. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed or if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.4 before. If that's the case, just open it up to the main menu, close out of it, come back and reinstall Forge, and you'll be good to go. But after a few seconds here, we will be able to see successfully installed Client Profile Forge for 1.21.4. We click OK, Forge will close, and we can delete it from our desktop. Now, all we've got to do is play Minecraft using Forge. So we want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. Now, you may want to think about downloading some Minecraft mods and stuff. I'll show you where to do that towards the end of the video and how to quickly install those as well. But here we are in the Minecraft launcher. And if we go to installations up here at the top, we will see that we have this Forge installation. If you don't, go ahead and make sure mod is checked in the top right, because if it's not checked, it's not going to be there. And also make sure it's 1.21.4-Forge. If you don't have it or you don't have the correct version, the 1.21.4, version, go ahead and click new installation. Now you can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Then go ahead and click the versions drop down box here and select 1.21.4-Forge and you're good to go. You now have this set up. I'm also going to set the resolution just so we can see better once we get in game. Now in the bottom right, make sure that install is clicked and when you click it, it may launch Minecraft. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, it will get everything set up to where now we can play Minecraft either using our Forge installation or the simplegamehosting.com installation that we created. When you click play, click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft and you're set up. You're good to go. Now, how do you add mods to this? Well, first you're going to need to download some. The popular places to download mods are CurseForge and Modaranth. CurseForge allows you to filter for the correct mods you need. For example, this will only work with Forge mods. It will not work with Fabric mods and it will not work with NeoForge mods. NeoForge is completely separate from the Forge mod loader, so it's important to know you cannot use NeoForge mods on Forge period. At this point though, we can go ahead on the left-hand side and scroll down and select Forge, and then the game version we want. You also have to use 1.21.4 mods. Mods for 1.21.3 will not work. You have to use 1.21.4 mods. 
But here we go. These are all Forge mods for 1.21.4 that you could download and install. The only other thing I would recommend watching out for when you're installing Minecraft mods is compatibility mods. These are mods that basically other mods need. For example, Serene Seasons here needs a mod called Glitch Core, and you can see that here. But you can also see that by going to Files, selecting the version you want, which in our case is Forge 1.21.4, and then going to Related Projects. And there it is, Required Dependency. You can do the same thing on Moderinth. We can sort by Forge, and then we can sort by 1.21.4. Then again, we just need to find something that requires another mod. For example, the Falling Tree mod here. If we go ahead and click on that, and then once you've clicked on the Falling Tree mod, go to Versions, and then we'll be able to, if we wanted to, we could sort by Forge, and then 1.21.4. This is the one we would want. Click on it, we can see the dependencies. These are optional in this case, but a lot of times they're not. They're required dependencies that you would need to download and install in addition to the mod. How do you install them once you've got them downloaded? Well, it's actually really simple. From the Minecraft main menu, go ahead and click on Mods, and then Open Mods Folder, and drag and drop any mod you want into the Mods Folder here. When you do that, restart Minecraft, and you're good to go. They'll appear here in the Mods Folder, and of course, work in-game. That's assuming they're for Forge 1.21. Dot four. At this point, though, you know everything you need to know about Forge for Minecraft 1.21.4. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. And we also have a video linked in the description down below on how to fix broken Minecraft mods. This is hours of troubleshooting, and I've condensed it down to 18 minutes to help you save a ton of time with troubleshooting your Minecraft mods when you have issues. Because it's not uncommon to have some issues with Minecraft mods. At this point, though, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.